And our investigation into mysterious cases of missing girls took us to Charlottesville. There was a sense of relief after last week's arrest in the Hannah Graham case and today's announcement that the suspect is linked to another case from five years ago. But many there continue to hold their breath, waiting for the next young woman to disappear. Graham is the fifth case in the region in as many years. And that's why we sent investigative reporter Chris Horn to Charlottesville. Chris. Yeah, they're tied together by geography, first of all, Tom and Nicole. They line up in a U.S. 29 corridor that runs north-south through Charlottesville. Five cases of missing women that happened along that corridor, only two arrests, and even more disturbing, only one of the five victims has been found. Her body left in a nearby field. Her mother, whom you just met, has made saving the next girl's life her life's mission. In and around Charlottesville, a steady stream of missing persons cases over the past five years. Hannah Graham is just the latest. There's the search teams everywhere. Mm -hmm. It's obviously scary. I think when you have an incident like this, I mean, you have this immediate elevation of awareness about safety. By now, residents know the drill. I don't like walking to my car at night alone. Students at UVA learn the drill. Whenever I go out, I'm sticking with my roommate or whoever I go with. Just since 2009, the list includes five people connected by fate and age range of 17 to 20 and the U.S. 29 corridor that runs through Charlottesville. We're now into the week mark. Reporters familiar with the cases say they cause concern but not panic. I think you're vulnerable in any community, but I think Charlottesville is getting that attention right now because it's happened so many times. There are certain similarities about them that you can't ignore. I mean, these are all young women. Um, in a couple of cases, they, you know, they're out by themselves. Um, something happens. Morgan Harrington, a Virginia Tech student visiting UVA for a concert, vanished in 2009 and was found dead three months later. Having a missing child is like you feel like you're walking around with your skin flayed off. Then it was Samantha Clark, missing from Orange County since 2010. Deshaud Sage Smith, last seen in Charlottesville in 2012. Last year, Alexis Murphy vanished from a gas station in Lovingston, Nelson County. And now Hannah Graham, last seen in Charlottesville's downtown pedestrian mall two weeks ago. We're not in um, Pleasantville, we're in Charlottesville. It's a small city and, and there are issues just like there are anywhere else. Every time another woman goes missing in this community, it brings back all of the memories from the previous missing case. Jill Harrington's memories of her daughter Morgan are vivid and drive her to do what is now her life's work. She thinks about Morgan every day. Then a sophomore at Virginia Tech, she came to John Paul Jones Arena for a 2009 concert on the grounds of UVA. Morgan was last seen on this bridge near the arena. You fill in the, the unknown with some really creative, ugly thoughts, and um, it, it's hard. It's ugly. While she was missing, Morgan's mother started Help Save the Next Girl. Asking the community um, for information and tips and to save the next girl. It was too late for Morgan. We knew that Morgan was dead. We didn't know where she was. And then the bad news became worse news. Morgan was found raped and murdered in a field in Albemarle County three months later. Five years have passed, still no arrests, although today's announcement from state police is a major break. Investigators say evidence links Jesse Leroy Matthew, already jailed as a suspect in the abduction of Hannah Graham, to the kidnapping, rape, and murder of Morgan Harrington. The missing phase was harder than knowing that she was killed. We have rituals for death and um, casserole brigades and all of the things that lovely southern neighborhoods do for one another to cherish. Missing is, you're in limbo. People don't know what to say. You know, no Hallmark cards for the missing. So now, Help Save the Next Girl uses the bridge as part memorial and part bulletin board. A visual reminder that Hannah Graham is among several young women who are missing. There have been many next girls. The recent, the latest next girl is Hannah Graham. More than anyone else, Jill Harrington can empathize with the Grahams. When and if they, they would like to speak with us, that we would be ready to support them in any way possible. But we also understand, you know, it's a really personal, private journey. Harrington has shared her own personal and private journey many times to keep awareness as high as possible. I want to make darn sure that I did everything within my power to stop that eventuality. Sure. I want to find bad guys through tips, not through bodies. 
very determined woman. We'll let you know about any additional charges Jesse Matthew would face now that he's been connected to two of those five cases. Investigators tell me, though, their focus right now is on finding Hannah. And after that, they can begin to look for common factors. To find out more about Help Save the Next Girl, check out wavy.com. Chris Horn, 10 on your side. And although the Charlottesville area has had several missing persons in recent years, Hannah Graham is the only UVA student. In a message Friday, University President Teresa Sullivan reminded students about the school's free safe ride vans that keep them from having to walk alone at night on campus. Sullivan also urged students to be active bystanders and use the university's new phone app, TipSoft, that lets users submit crime tips anonymously.